Hey everybody, Vinny here. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are making Italian comfort food. It's called pastina. Pastina is super simple to make. You more than likely have the ingredients you need in the house. So what we got in the pan right now, there's a small pot, is a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon. We're going to put in just a little bit of garlic. Not too much, just enough for the flavor. Now we're going to uh, mix this in and stir it until fragrant. Like very little garlic as you can see. Just a little bit. Garlic is smelling good. Now what we're going to do is add one cup of chicken broth. What we're going to do is let this come up to a boil. Just get the little bits of garlic off the bottom that may have stuck. It does happen even with olive oil. So let's let this come up to a boil. For those who are unfamiliar with pastina, while we're waiting for the broth to boil, there are these tiny, tiny little star noodles. Uh, you could replace them with orzo or a chini di pepetti. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I'm making this for my kids, so the little star noodles are what we're using. Okay, we got a nice little boil going. Nice little boil going. We're gonna add one quarter cup of the pastina. Stir this in, real good. Now we're just going to cover it and let it cook until almost all of the broth is absorbed into the pasta. All right, give this about one or two more minutes, and uh, we're going to take this off the heat and keep working it. All right, we're good there. Take it off the heat. I got this wonderful farm fresh egg one of my coworkers got for me out in Michigan. I'm gonna. Uh oh, there you go. Holy crap, it's a double yolk. Huh, okay. Look at that. Double yolk. We're gonna just stir, 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 stir. You're gonna let the egg cook in the pastina. It's already hot. So stir, 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 stir. Double yolk. Wild. Double yolk. Wild. But the egg is cooking in here. Now what we're going to do is add a tablespoon of butter and keep stirring away. Stir, 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 stir. We're going to mix the butter in nice and thoroughly. I mean, you can make this vegetarian if you, you know, omit the chicken broth, I guess. I don't know. Why change it classic? Stir, stir, stir. Okay. The butter is melted in. We're going to add in some Parmesan cheese, I got some shredded here. And then guess what we're gonna keep doing? Stir, 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 stir. Just stir this in. Stir, stir, stir. It's the, the name of the game in the end of this. Stir. Okay, so like I said, stir, stir. A little bit of salt. Some fresh black pepper. And stir, 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 stir. There you go. Now all that's left is to put it in a little bowl. This is enough for both of my kids. And that's it. And there you go. It might not be the prettiest dish on the planet, and it definitely isn't. But like I said, this is Italian comfort food. It looks like mush, but it tastes delicious. But, uh, I mean, if you want to give it a try yourself, you know, try it before you knock it. Or don't knock it before you try it. But thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you in the next video. So the real question is, is it kid approved? Great. It's good.